Good morning children. Today we shall learn about difference in chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Now we know the differences between physical properties of metal and non-metals. Metals are hard, lustrous, malleable, good conductors of heat and electricity, ductile and sonorous. On the other hand, non-metals are not always solid like oxygen, nitrogen or gases. Carbon, sulfur are softer and dull in appearance. They don't turn into flat sheet if we hit them hard. They just break or turn into powder. Non-metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity and they are not sonorous. So let's see the chemical properties now. We all are familiar with the rusting of iron. What is rust and how is it formed? Well, iron reacts with oxygen and water vapor present in the air to form the rust. So, rust is actually an oxide of iron. Also, now we know when we burn a piece of charcoal, carbon dioxide is produced. So here, carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. We can represent it as C plus O2 is equal to CO2. If we burn a magnesium wire in air, magnesium oxide is produced. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. This chemical reaction can be shown as 2Mg plus O2 is equal to 2MgO. Both metal and non-metals produce oxide compound on reacting with oxygen. But the properties of metallic oxide and non-metallic oxides are different. Now let us try to figure out if the oxides of metals and non-metals are acidic or basic in nature. For this, collect some rust and dissolve it in very little water. Shake the suspension well. If we dip a red litmus paper in the solution, what will happen? It will turn blue. If you remember, a basic solution turns red litmus into blue color. This means the solution is basic in nature. So, we can say metal oxide is basic in nature. Let us test one more metallic oxide. We burnt a magnesium wire in air and then collected its ash. This ash contains magnesium oxide. Now let us add water to it. If we dip a red litmus in the solution it will turn blue too. So, magnesium oxide is basic in nature too. Thus, we can say in general all metallic oxides are basic in nature. Now it's time to test whether non-metallic oxides are acidic or basic in nature. For this, let's take some sulfur in spoon and heat it. As soon as it starts burning, put it into a gas jar and cover it with a lid. The oxide produced in this reaction remains inside the jar. Next, we lift the lid little and pour water into it. The gas gets dissolved in that water. Now, can you guess the nature of the solution? If we dip a blue litmus in the solution, it will turn 
red this means it is acidic so non metallic oxides are generally acidic in nature so what is the chemical equation here here sulfur reacted with oxide and produced sulfur dioxide the chemical equation for it is s plus o2 is equal to so2 where so2 is sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide gets dissolved in water we get sulfurous acid the chemical equation for it is so2 plus h2o is equal to h2so3 this product h2so3 is sulfurous acid there are many differences in the chemical properties of metal and non metal let us see how metals and non metals react with water you know many metals react with water sodium reacts with water very vigorously and produces lots of heat hence it is stored in kerosene whereas as we saw iron reacts with water very slowly what about non metals non metals generally don't react with water but few non metals are very reactive in air like phosphorus catches fire if kept in air so to prevent the contact of phosphorus with the atmospheric oxygen it is stored in water so to sum up what we learned today on burning metals react with oxygen to produce metal oxides which are basic in nature non metals react with oxygen to produce non metallic oxides which are acidic in nature some metals react with water to produce metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas generally non metals do not react with water that's all for now bye bye children and take care